you're smart enough to know that there is a creator behind all of this that this universe and everything in it did not just come by chance that there's an orchestrator there is one who is sustaining and maintaining it and he is the most wise he did not just create this all in mere play and foolishness that I will have to go back to the giver of life the one who has made me and I'm going to have to answer for everything that I've done in this world especially what I believed in my heart and that the signs that he gives to an individual and to the nations did I accept his signs and this is one of them know that you are intelligent enough and it's in your very nature when the truth comes to you that it's simple to understand it's nothing complicated it's a way of life that all the messengers of God brought they all taught the same way of life submission and surrender to the one God he is the most merciful he is the most gracious he is the king he is the only holy one he is the peace he is the giver of safety he is the mighty he is the powerful the majestic he is the only true creator he is the maker of shapes the most forgiving the sustainer the all-knowing the all-hearing the most high he is the protector he is the most wise the most loving he is the giver of life and the giver of death he is truly the self existing he's truly independent on of all and we are all dependent on him try not taking the air in that he's given you see if you're truly independent which you are not he is the only one truly independent and he is all powerful he is ever living the all rich this is the one true God in Arabic we say Allah in Aramaic the language that Jesus this mighty messenger spoke he would say Allah in Hebrew Allah so it doesn't take person with many brain cells to figure out that the English language Moses Jesus Abraham they never spoke any of this they didn't speak English they never said God so when you put the pieces of the puzzle together Allah 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 this is the God and we just gave you some of his attributes so you know that this is the one that I want to worship this is the one that I want to turn to who I want to guide me he is the one the self-sufficient master who begets not nor was he begotten to whom there is no co-equal or comparable who has no wife no child no siblings this is the one God he loves you he wants to guide you and he will forgive all sins but you got to turn to him and you got to want it we talked about some of these other things early in the show that the lights will come on the party will be over this life will end you'll be accountable for your sins and you know we got a lot of them we're coming to a close all I want to say is that we care for our brothers in humanity and we want everybody to be in paradise and paradise is eternal why barter something temporary which is this life for something eternal why would you risk paradise for something and a pleasure that's always in the past tense I was here I went there it will all end it will all be a past tense in paradise it just keeps getting better and better and all you got to do is one ask for the guidance and when it comes to you submit to this one God and strive to be the best human being you can be doing what this Creator wants you to do doing it on his terms not your terms that's all we have for today. I hope that you got to benefit. Continue tuning in every week to The Dean Show. And until next time, Assalamu Alaikum, which means peace be unto you. Layla, Layla, Layla.